New tonight, nearly a year after a devastating crash almost cost a Philadelphia police officer his life. The community came together to support Andy Chan's family and his recovery. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Davis joins us now from police headquarters. Kimberly. Yuki, yeah, it's been about 11 months since Officer Andy Chan was struck and thrown from his motorcycle. His wife tells me he's still got a long road to recovery, but she's so thankful for the community support. It's the most wonderful time of the year, but for families like the Chans, the Philadelphia Police Department is hoping to make their holidays a little more bright. Tonight, all the proceeds are going to go to Andy Chan, uh, Highway Patrol Officer Andy Chan, who you know, suffered a uh, serious injury in this past year. Back in January, the 24-year veteran of Philadelphia Police Department's Highway Patrol was on his motorcycle when he was struck by a minivan. Investigators believe it was an accident, but 11 months later, Officer Chan's wife says he's still recovering. To us, every little sign of life is so important, whether it's a chuckle, or a reaction, a smile, or for him to just blink, to blink in acknowledgement of what we're saying. Thursday, Philadelphia police held its annual holiday party at the Plow in the Stars and raised money for the families behind the Badge Foundation. The foundation supports fallen and injured officers and their families, and this year's proceeds will go to Officer Chan's family. Just to know that he his heart was still beating after the um, accident, that they knew he still had a pulse and he was still breathing. There was hope and we're going to keep that hope. We're hanging in there. We're very hopeful. Um, you know, we have to stay strong for, for everyone. As the Chan family keeps a positive attitude, they say Philadelphia police and the community have played a big role in that hope. I can't even thank them enough. They're so amazing. Mrs. Chan tells us her husband is in a minimum conscious state and he's still got about two to three years left of recovery. We're live outside of police headquarters this evening. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Kimberly, thank you.